Tonight, there is a mesquite mom happily enjoying time with her baby after surgery with help from a robot. Caroline Vandergriff is showing us how the procedure could help other women living with uterine fibroids, which are the most common non cancerous tumors found in women old enough to give birth. Studies show most women will have one or more uterine fibroids in their lifetime, and they can have devastating consequences for women who are trying to get pregnant and carry a baby full term. But about 70 to 80 percent of women have fibroids. Ashley Burnett found out she had uterine fibroids when she was 20. I was experiencing a lot of pain, crippling pain, to where I had to go into the emergency room. She had two different procedures to get rid of them. And in December 2020, her and her husband found out they were expecting a baby boy. But Burnett's fibroids had returned and caused her to go into early labor at just 22 weeks. To deliver a baby, to hear them cry, and to have to say goodbye to them four hours after, is, it's, it's pretty difficult. Even though their son Silas died, they still wanted to grow their family. But I wanted to make sure that going forward, I made the right decision for my body next. That's when Burnett turned to Dr. Juanita Crable. The Texas Health OBGYN removes uterine fibroids with the help of a robot. Why is it important? Because it gives the woman the opportunity to um, continue with her life. The minimally invasive surgery has a quicker recovery time than traditional methods and helps preserve the uterus. Seven months after Burnett had the procedure, she got pregnant again. Burnett gave birth to baby girl Scarlett in September of 2022. She's 19 weeks old and I'm holding this miracle that's in my hand, this blessing. She and Dr. Crable want women with uterine fibroids to know they're not alone. I don't think people really realize how many women suffer with this. 26 fibroids later and one fallopian tube gone. I still conceived. <laughs> so uh, don't give up. Dr. Crable says many patients come to her after being told their only option is a hysterectomy. She encourages women to advocate for themselves and always get a second opinion. Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.